What is going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you had some good sales today. Let me mute this, make sure it doesn't pop up here. Ah, uh, here, here we go. All right, so uh, got an FBA shipment out just before I went live. So that's going out tomorrow. Another wholesale purchase of hats. Uh, I have another one coming on Friday. Uh, I will unbox that live with you guys to let you know what I uh, purchased. And then um, I'm going to show you what I picked up here to, from the thrift store, and then what I bought from Amazon, and how I'm going to use it in my business. So we have in the chat. Scott, how's it going? Hey, Peggy Brown. What's going on? Rebecca. Hey, Donna. Pat D's. Good to see you. Hey, Vicky. Random collection. How's it going? Rum Stump Reseller. Marrakesh, Joey, what's going on, guys? Shipped out 48 pounds of soap. Uh, I shipped out 49 pounds of books uh, to the Chicago MDW2 warehouse. Uh, that got received finally today, and I shipped it out, what's today, Wednesday? I think I shipped it out Tuesday. So it was a one-day turn, which was awesome. Uh uh, but all my hats re, uh, got delivered. My cassette recorders got delivered. So now that's an Amazon hit. Amazon hands. Vikings mother, how's it going? Hey, she sells by Sue. Sales are hopping. Yeah. Today, today eBay was slow though. Today, uh, today I think I have, I think only three, three eBay today. Yeah, three eBay. Uh, one Amazon, zero Poshmark. But I think, uh, so I haven't been on recently. Uh, I think it's due to my lister. My lister has been taking over a lot of my duties. So uh, I was used to uh, thrifting from the store, showing you guys. And, uh, and that's the way I kind of did it. Now that uh, they're also thrifting for me, which is kind of a unique experience. Uh, I, I will probably have another show about that, uh, hiring someone to thrift for you, which has allowed me to concentrate on FBA and wholesale, uh, and it's freed up some of my time. So if you can do that, potentially look at doing that, but that has been uh, an awesome thing. Donna, any damage from the tornado? Yeah, so not yeah, but... Uh, tornado uh, ripped through Ohio, what was it, Tuesday? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, so Tuesday ripped through Dayton. Uh, I think there were issues in Dayton, Ohio, which is southwest of me. But uh, in Columbus, there was nothing. Sirens were going off till about 2 a.m. Now, what are you hauling? Soap, I think. Uh, what movie? What movie is that from? What are you hauling? Soap, I think. Is that uh, Super Troopers? I'm guessing right now. Dan Liquidation Pros in the chat. Uh, give him a follow. Tomorrow we're going to have another liquidation episode. I think it's on my channel tomorrow. But uh, give Dan a follow. He has some uh, great finds. Follow him in, in uh, Instagram as well. He has some awesome uh, tips he's dropping. Maricast, you ship books to only one location. I ship to what Amazon tells me. So when I create the shipment, uh, Amazon will tell me what warehouses I ship it to. Uh, the books happen to be going to one warehouse. The hats I just did tonight, one warehouse. Uh, but I ship to what they tell me to ship. And I believe once you create your shipment, if you want to add to the quantity after the shipment is created, I believe you have 5% uh, variance, I believe, that you can do. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Good to see you. The crazy card. Man, I can't believe how much cool stuff you pick up. Uh, give him a follow on uh, Instagram. He picks up, what'd you pick up? Napkin holders out of the trash can? You're listed for $700. Uh, you find some cool stuff. I can't believe some of the stuff you find, which is awesome. Uh, Blake, yes, the books I, uh, I picked up were from the thrift store. Uh, not thrift store, from the bins. So I had my scanner with uh, Scout IQ, and I scanned all of them. I think uh, 49, 40 books, 49 pounds. 
we'll see how those go. I'll keep you posted, but uh, they should be receiving those shortly. All right, Donna, great, uh, great segue here. So uh, currently, I have a, a Dymo 450 Turbo uh, label writer. Works great. Uh, the labels I have for shipping are uh, 30. Three three fours, I think, is what they're called. The long labels I use those for shipping, and then I purchased the uh, little. Do I have any down here? I don't think I have any down here. Let's see, they're like they're like that size. That's a liquidation actual label, but that's the size that I have for my uh, FN SKU labels, or that I attach to my Amazon shipments. I switch those out between the 30 through three fours and that those label types and what I do now I'll, I'll do another video on it but when you're shipping uh, similar SKUs into Amazon you can go in your scan and ship or scan and label uh, header in uh, the seller central and what I do when I have similar type hats that I'm shipping in I can go in there and type quantity 23 as long as you check collate hit print, it prints all of them thermally to my roll, and it's a life, uh, it's it's a game changer, so it's a lifesaver. But, um, so that's what I've mainly now been using my uh, Dymo 440, 450 for. So what I did, uh, what I wanted to cut down was Poshmark and the FBA shipping labels. So here, this is what I'm gonna open up here tonight. And this is what I just received. And I have another box here. Another box. I'm going to show you what I purchased. Hopefully, if uh, Darren comes in the chat, show you picked up. Kim, how's it going? Borderline Horrorish. Good to see you. Just sold a 450 on Amazon from 105. Brand new. Holy cow. Uh, 4XL. 450 uses a different label. Yeah, the 4XL is the 4x6s. I think you can use the address labels in there. All right, but I like this one because the reviews I read. We'll give it a try. All right, ready? Won't cut too deep in it. And it's interesting. When you buy stuff from Amazon now, uh, you see the uh, third-party sellers, the emails that come through. This this person or this company that was selling this printer uh, send, sends you an email that says, uh, Hey, your printer's on the way. Let me know if you need anything, which is great customer service. And you kind of think about, okay, if I can get in on a private label product like that, how do I get those emails to flow through? How do I source that customer service? Uh, you start to learn how that happens. So there you go. That kind of gives you an idea what that uh, Filth and Particles doing a thermal label giveaway this week. She goes live every day at noon. Give her a sub as well. Lisa C., you are correct. All right. So I bought a Rolo. Uh, and I also bought labels. I'm going to show you in the other box I'm going to open up. But the reason why I bought this was because my 450 pretty much does what I want it to. I don't like flipping out uh, the Amazon labels that I'm doing now. So this is going to be used primarily for... My Poshmark labels, my shipping labels, my FBA labels. Uh, I will put a uh, video how I get it to work. But uh, my 450 will be used primarily for my uh, ASIN stickers because I can I print you know 30 of them at a time, which is awesome. Beer to picker wins. All right, so you're about to smash your Dymo with a hammer. Oh no. Viking's mother, let me know what's going on. So Donna says, roller super easy. So that's what I'm hoping for, being super easy. Because it seems seamless with the number of labels you can switch with it. All right. So what you get with this, when you order Rolo, I think I paid uh, $169 for it. And with, I have an uh, iMac, which I'm... Uh, video right now they have the USB-C adapters with my adapter I have three USBs on that adapter so I'm able to connect my 450 I'm gonna connect this as well 
uh, all with on, uh, within the adapter. And uh, I'll be able to select which one I want to print from. With Poshmark, I won't have to cut and tape anymore, which is amazing. All right, so it looks like you have, uh, looks like their customer service is uh, pretty amazing from what I see on Facebook and what I hear from other people. Uh, it was a quick tip card, how to get it working. Uh, portrait versus horizontal. You have a book, a book how to use it. Uh, computer adapter with a USB uh, USB C connector, and then open this here. I'll show you what that is. And I'm guessing this is the power supply. I'm going to use this box either. I'm going to save this or reship it out. But uh, there's your serial number back there. What is this? All right. So here, power supply, power cord with the, there you go. There's that. Power supply, power cord. And then we'll open this up. Wendy, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do a demo when I set it up. And I'll let you know how it works. But silica packet. Looks like they have a label sitting in there right now, and they give you an informational product uh, how it works. But I think it opens somehow. There you go. You hold this to the side, it pops open. And from what I've seen online, you set your label in there, you hold the button, and it automatically adjusts what la whatever label you put in there. Uh, I've heard the FBA shipping labels, you kind of have to finagle with the PDF. Uh, Acrobat reader uh, you have to select it with the uh, snag and drop or whatever they call it Copy paste it and print it. I'll let you know how that works uh, That's mainly what I'm using it for because all I use my printer for is with the free UPS labels I'm able to print uh, the shipping labels the FBA labels and um, uh, Poshmark shipping that's why I bought this uh, if I can find another 450, I will use that as well and use the rest of my labels on it. Uh, beard picker, 4XL and LP2844. Haven't cut and taped since 2013. And that is key right there. The cut and taping is killer. Uh, with Poshmark, when I had Poshmark stuff, I still do. Cutting and taping is real pain, uh, especially when you're getting, you know, three, five plus a night. That's uh, And then you're burning through ink. Ink's a killer. Thermal. The other thing you can use the thermal for in that, the Rolo, if you wanted to do like little logos, little things to stick on the box, that's what you can use that for. Uh, so I might uh, look at using, printing out certain logos, sticking it on the box. Uh, we'll see. Plus the logos are super cheap. Let me get this box here. Where did, that... Where did I put it? I lost the box I had. Hold on. I guess I didn't bring it down. All right. I'll we'll just save the other box I had. But I bought a stack of four by six labels for uh, fourteen dollars. Five hundred labels, fourteen dollars, and that's a lot better than the uh, the Dymo. Dymo, you can get, I think, it's like six rolls for about 30 bucks. You can burn for the, through those pretty quickly, depending on uh, how many how much stuff you ship. But uh, I think that right there, the ease of use and the labels you can stick in it will do pretty well. I thought it went down. Hey, Rebecca, what's going on? Just don't forget to set up your postage. On the Poshmark settings, yeah. So also on eBay and Poshmark, you're gonna have to change your settings. Uh, how you print stuff, uh, Lee? I paid one sixty nine, I believe. Just don't uh, cut and tape. When I started, I had no printer. Whoa, might get no printer. Hand wrote my labels, so I would uh, I'd buy my labels at the uh, kiosk. And uh, I think I was shipping like one a week. And I'd buy it at the kiosk, write it in, slap it on, and uh, mail it. So 
that's what I'm going to work with. I'm going to put a video out there if I can find that other box. Uh, I'll put a video out there how it works. I think the key is once you're getting a lot of shipments every day, that right there, when you can switch between printers seamlessly and get it to print out, uh, that'll save you a ton of time. And uh, right now, I'm trying to save time. Time is my killer. So uh, hopefully that'll help. All right. So show you the print that I picked up. I'm going to set that up later. Uh, I'll do some videos on it. But uh, labels, get a big stack of labels. They had, uh, again, 500 for four, uh, $14. And I forget, you could buy multiples of that. And, and the price went down as you bought multiples. But I'll show you what I picked up here. And it's getting a little difficult now because uh, my listers, I'm giving my lister uh, multiple items a day. Uh, I want to keep you as up to date as what I'm getting, but uh, it's getting lost in the shuffle. And uh, I think that's where uh, I'm trying to keep you apprised of what I'm getting. But I'm giving her so much that by the time I get it back, some of it's already sold. So it's saving me a lot of time. If you're looking to list a lot of things and get a lot of uh, turnover, definitely look at getting someone to help you out. You can get a free fan fold four by six labels from UPS, totally blank. Yeah, so I think uh, that's where I get my uh, printer sheets with UPS. I get those free. I think you can get sheets of 50, um, and that's what I was using with my ink filler. But uh, rolls, I don't know about you, uh, USPS. That'd be cool if they had USPS stuff. All right, so uh, we're getting what I thrifted here. I don't know what I picked it up for. Uh, I have her break them up by lots, and I'll probably do another show as uh, how I get her to break them up by price and uh, label them so I can tie them back to my receipt. But this is one lot I picked up from the thrift store, uh, and I haven't touched them. This is the first time I've touched them since I bought them, which is amazing because now all I have to do is hang them and forget about them. Once they sell, uh, it's uh, ship, get the money. All right, so I picked up a Wrangler Pearl Snap. This right here, if you're not picking up Pearl Snap, you need to pick up Pearl Snap right here. These stuff sell really well, especially if you get them on the cuff right there. Uh, this is a good 30-plus pickup. So look for that Wrangler. Pat D's, if you're still in the chat. This is an extra large if you're looking for one of these. But button-ups, now it, it seems like the thr uh, thrift store has been transitioning a lot of their polo shirts and shirts to uh, either short sleeve button-ups. Right now, I'm sourcing a ton of uh, button-ups. So look for getting those. Russell uh, Athletic. This is a size, this is a team issue. Now, a lot of schools and a lot of polo shirts look for this when you see team or team issue on them. Uh, I buy them all the time. People are looking for team use gear. I don't know what team this is, but uh, it's double extra large. Uh, people are looking for specific school things, especially team use gear. So polo shirts are a good thing. I paid up for this. I paid up for this. This is actually has the tag still. So it's an MLS shirt. And it is a practice jersey, but it is double extra large. So jerseys are a for me are a no-brainer. Uh, again, outside of flaws and damages and uh, snags and tears, pick them up. This is a uh, kind of a test brain for me with long sleeve shirts. Uh, Brooks Brothers. I'm only picking up Brooks Brothers where there are cool patterns, and this is a cool kind of uh, square pattern of purple and white button up. Uh, I've not sold one yet. I'm compi I'm uh, piling up a ton of them, so I'll give you. I'll let you know how those work out. But uh, Brooks Brothers, if you look up brand new Brooks Brothers, they sell for a ton. So that's kind of where I started to pick up Brooks Brothers again. Uh, Kentucky uh, polo shirt, nothing new, nothing uh, 
unique about that one. She assigns the lot groups to me or for me so I can tie those back. Uh, Under Armour, really cool Under Armour shirts. I cannot pass up an Under Armour. I hopefully you don't as well. Some good money in Under Armour. Youth Vintage Wrangled Rodeo shirt hasn't sold yet. Loads of views and watchers, but no bites. Yeah, Rum Stub, that, uh, those Rodeo shirts sell really well. Uh, once you get a hit, you'll get, uh, you'll get your price for them. Pat D's 2XL, okay. Uh, Yvette has sold several short sleeve pearl snaps. Pearl snaps are the key for those button up short sleeves, long sleeve. Uh, those pearl snaps are definitely what you're looking for. And then unique brands. So Oracle, Team USA, this is the sailing team. Uh, this is all screened on, but it's Puma. This shirt right here, I've had a ton of watchers already. Uh, you can see all the logos on it right there. A unique team that you don't see. You think about uh, teams that aren't as prevalent, like the Patriots and all that, but teams that aren't as prevalent, like sailing teams, rugby teams, uh, jerseys of that sort. Uh, look to pick those up because those typically have a high resale value. So don't pass those up. And then I pick up some random Greg Normans, some golf golf tournament on there this is a uh, large those ones I'm probably gonna hold on to for a little bit just because they're gonna sit made well this is a obviously a woman's shirt made well right there this shirt right here has I think eight watchers already and I make it sound like it's a ton but uh, that for me that's a ton eight watchers and I don't normally buy women's clothes, but I've heard someone say Madewell does really well. So that's kind of where I picked that up. Uh, Harrington. Uh, this is like a kind of sport tech polo shirt. The reason I bought it was, was because of the logo. Uh, aviation companies, uh, airlines. This is, uh, what is it? Jet. Yeah, Jet Aviation. So typically, you'll have your unique buyer that comes by and buys these. Uh, this is a $30 and above shirt to start with. I wouldn't go below 20 but Diesel, my CB lot radio has been killing it. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, if you go to storage auction, let me know. Oh, Pat D's talking about storage, storage auction. Another Under Armour. This is a construction company. Construction companies do really well. Uh there you go. Local construction company, Under Armour, nice shirt. This is cold block. Was it cold block? Or? Yeah, cold black. So look for that right there where it says cold black. And that is a uh, unique Under Armour polo shirt. That does really well. Look for those. It kind of looks bland, but right there you'll see that on the sleeve. It says cold black on it. Look for that. Once you see that, that's a buy. Uh, Jack Nicholas, I only find this around local to Dublin, Ohio. It's a tournament around here. Memorial, the memorial will actually be happening this weekend. I'll try and get some footage of it. Uh, we'll get Tiger Woods. I don't know if Tiger Woods is playing, but last year I saw Tiger Woods, uh, filmmaking, uh, Mickelson. We actually, oh, dropping stuff now. Uh, our, one of our friends has a house right on the, uh, golf course. So we go out there, hang out on Saturday. America's Polo Cup. Yeah, our cup polo. Yeah, America Cup. That's right. Uh, what's this random one? This Adidas. Uh, again, fuels. Oil companies, fuel companies. Pick them up. Uh, once you hit, you hit. So buy those. Honda. I, I don't know if Pac-Man's in the chat, but look at that. I was looking up wholesale Honda stuff. Uh, the car Honda logo versus the uh, motorcycle logo. This logo right here with the wings, this logo does, a, uh, from what my research, does a ton better than the car logo. So if you find that logo, pick it up. Hats, polo shirts, shirts, uh, 
they do really well. Uh, youth Under Armour shorts. I can't pass those up. So those do well. Uh, couldn't pass up a brand new with tags, chaps. Pick that up. Uh, Orvis. I'll hold on to, on to this one for a little bit. But this Orvis is double uh, XL. Look at that. Cool colors, cool design. But again, long sleeve button ups, I will hold them for a while. Pac Man just arrived. Uh, uh, Air Force, pretty cool shirt. Find unique stuff like this. This looks to be a charity event uh, polo shirt. Uh, make sure you include that in your titles. There you go, 2012 Falcon Classic. Last two, I oh, last three I picked up. I dropped one here. Uh, this is a long sleeve Nike Golf Saint Clair Country Club. Unique country clubs tend to sell. Uh, I'll be you'd be real surprised. People are look for certain things and it sells. I don't know how or why people search for it, but they're looking for specific country clubs to wear, I guess. All right, I've never picked up this shirt before. This is I've heard about it a ton, but it's John Barbados. Button up, long sleeve, another button up. We'll see how this does. But uh couldn't pass that one up. Another made well. This is a longer, look at this one. This is a longer shirt. Longer shirt made well. It's kind of wrinkled because it's been the bag. Uh, last thing I picked up, beer brands. Beer brands does really well. Mike, I think the, the bike is the, the Wings brand. I am kind of sure. All right, so here's the last thing I picked up. Uh, Yingling, long sleeve, Under Armour. Look at that. Cool, I mean, nice shirt with the beer brand on it. Someone will snatch that up. It is a size extra large. But never pass up the Under Armour pullovers. Those do really well. So that's what I picked up in addition to the Rolo, which I'm going to get formatted with my computer. And uh, that's it, guys. The made, I see, I don't know if that's a dress. This is a size, what size is this? Medium. It might be a dress, right? If that's her right there. I guess it could be a dress, a button up dress. Be a very short dress, I'm guessing. Noticing there are more bouncers in the room than paying guests. What? <sighs> it's a dress. It's a dress, Donna. I didn't know that. Tunic style. Okay. I put a dress shirt or a women's shirt. <laughs> Pac Man. Nice. Uh, Kiki. Yes, I, I uh, cross post. From eBay to Poshmark, I will list higher on Poshmark. And what's um, interesting about Poshmark is uh, I tend to make more on Poshmark. But when it hits, it hits, and it's a free list. So a free list, I'll go higher. Some of us are irregular. Scott, you might want to get checked out if you're irregular. Marrakesh, uh, I try to go every week. I go to the bins every week. Uh, that's kind of where I do my book sourcing. But I find, actually, I find some cool stuff from the bins. Uh, maybe tomorrow night's show or after uh, Dan's show with uh, Liquidation tomorrow. Friday, maybe I'll show you what I picked up from the bins last week. You can typically find uh, awesome books. You can find really cool vintage toys at the bins. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, pass stuff up that hold a lot of value. Oh, uh, and then I swear I brought it down. Hold on. I don't have it. Thought I brought it down here. Darren, I was going to show you what I picked up, but it's not here. So 
All right. Uh, Lee, I'll, I'll message you back on Instagram. Have to drag the kids. So, Rum Stump, what's great about the bins is I bring the kids. Uh, the kids end up looking for uh, little toy figurines, toys. Sometimes if I tell them uh, this is kind of what I'm looking for, they'll go look for it. So that's, I say, the good thing about bringing kids to the bins. But you can uh, you can uh, have them work for you in that stance. Or they can have fun and look for things. So they've, they found me some good things at the bins, which has been pretty good. All right, everybody. That's all I had tonight. So the printer, thrift pickups, and I guess I'll show you the box tomorrow with uh, Dan's show. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be talking about liquidation tomorrow on my channel. Subscribe to Liquidation Pros as well, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great evening. Hopefully get some more sales, get some stuff listed, and we'll talk to you later. See you.